Final Cut Pro 10.8 has been out for a few weeks now with WWDC happening right before the update. Today I want to try to connect some dots because I argue we can draw some conclusions and see the bigger picture. Let's start with WWDC right before the update. We all expected Apple to do something with machine learning and of course they introduced Apple Intelligence. Even though I'm super excited about it and its potential capabilities, I want to talk about something that went by mostly unnoticed. On iOS devices, we can now put icons wherever we want. Further still, we can customize the color and make really, really ugly looking home screens. On the Mac, we finally get window snapping and believe it or not, the iPad has a calculator now. I will come back to this one a little bit later. This of course is only a set of examples. There were many more announcements like this. What I want to draw your attention to is that all of these things have something in common. All of these changes fix issues or shortcomings Apple either created themselves or just didn't care about before. To me, the ability to rename effects has the same level of profoundness as window snapping on macOS. So much so that I saw it as a kind of a silver lining. I know we're talking about something very, very basic here, but this is exactly the point. So is window snapping or the ability to put a freaking icon wherever you want on your home screen. I see the introduction of this feature not just as the literal introduction. I see it as a sign that things are generally moving in the right direction. This of course does not mean I'm satisfied with the pace of development for Final Cut Pro, but this was not my point. On that note though, Apple's mantra has always been we don't want to be the first, we want to be the best. Which brings me back to the calculator app on the iPad. In my opinion, they absolutely smashed it out of the park with this one. But then I asked myself, does this justify the years of neglect? Well, I'm a little bit on the fence with this one. Because of course you can just go to the app store and download a calculator app, right? Okay then, but if this logic applies, then no one should be mad about the lack of auto captions or text-based editing in Final Cut Pro because you can just use a plugin or an app for this. For my part, I happily use third-party plugins if it means we get an iPad calculator-like moment for text-based editing, auto captions, and something like the magic mask. But it will take a little longer, and again, I'm happy to use stopgap solutions in the meantime. That being said, I think the long wait will come to an end in the near future. Logic Pro got to version 11 a few weeks before the Final Cut Pro update. It packed a ton of awesome new features, many of which utilizing machine learning. For example, there is now a stem splitter that can separate vocals, drums, bass and other parts from a track. There is no reason for this not also being in Final Cut Pro right away. However, I think we in the Final Cut Pro community need to keep in mind that the Final Cut Pro team will not single-handedly develop the features for Final Cut Pro. For example, Voice Isolation is an Apple Audio unit, which means it is a system-level plugin. With Apple Intelligence on the horizon and Final Cut Pro version numbers making big jumps, I think the writing is on the wall for Final Cut Pro 11 in the near future. The updates leading towards it will be minor though. Because do you remember the introduction of the first generation of M1 MacBooks? Suddenly they were a little bit thicker, had better keyboards, brought back MagSafe and had a freaking HDMI port. Apple was waiting to come around the corner with the whole package. Just think about the possibilities with the tech that's in your hand today. I can literally just take my iPhone, type in the name of my dog, a color or a place into the photo search function and get a result in seconds. Or speech to text, for example, is integrated into the core operating system of every Apple device. I think whenever Final Cut Pro 11 rolls around, it'll be a great package, just like the first Apple Silicon Max but we had to go through a drought of loud and hot Intel Macs before. At any rate, that's just my take. Let me know what you think in the comments. In Final Cut Pro 10.8, Apple introduced a tool for machine learning color correction. Watch this video next for a deep dive into this feature.